Oh, he just went low. He's in his head. He's in his head. He's, He's open. His head wide open. Cracked open in the face. And welcome everybody, it's Mario Man 2100 and we're back with another new Let's Play. And it's time to go into the PS3 and play one of my favorite games of this franchise. And play a franchise I really do enjoy. Finally getting into the Uncharted series and we're actually going to start with Uncharted 2 among Thieves, which is considered, apart from Uncharted 4, Thieves and to be the best game in the franchise. Uh, definitely the best of the original trilogy. Um, I'll just see if I can. I'm not sure if that's. Uh, restarting the game or not here. Yeah. But uh, Uncharted 2, uh, this is one that I have played couple of times. Um, I think I've played, probably played the first one more, like uh, Drake's Fortune, and had a lot of fun with that. But I remember I really enjoyed uh, this game in particular, I really did enjoy this one. Drake's Deception wasn't that bad. Um, let's see, I'll just uh, skip maybe for now. Just a second. Alright, going to. Because I just want to see if I've uh, done everything correctly here. original save file. So it's basically New Game Plus, so we're going to start a new save file in general. Excuse, because I'm actually playing it on the actual PS3, I'm not playing the remastered version. I played the remastered, like the Nathan Drake collection, and I thought it was alright. Uh, I thought it was an alright version. It looked some ways in the lighting and, or something like that, it just it didn't click with me. It was very, very strange. So I'm playing it on the original PS3. And uh, so if you hear the PS3 <laughs> making some noises, that's uh, what you can hear noises in the background. It is PS3 working, it's magic, loading everything. This game still looks fantastic, that's one thing I will say. But this game's what twelve years old now? Two thousand nine? That's my blood it's a part of my blood.
Yeah, yeah so it's Uncharted, and uh, basically every game start with the uh, big set piece to start off with. Yeah, so this is where uh, basically the Tomb Raider reboot and things like that went with its uh, gameplay. Um, just because Uncharted got very much more popular. And I mean, the original Tomb Raider is not bad in general. Like, I remember playing it a long time ago. Stilted, but then again, the uh... This is the original PS3 version. It might not be as crisp as the Nathan Blake collection, but um, yeah, I just didn't have a good experience with the Nathan Blake collection. Didn't look great, all that type of stuff, so. This is one of the, uh, Naughty Dog's earlier motion capture games. Like they did it with uh, the Uncharted one. I think was the first one. I believe that they did motion capture in some form or capacity. Uh, they would later use that technology for Uncharted Three. Use it for The Last of Us, and then buy me a drink, sailor. For the future. Harry Flynn. Hey, what the hell are you doing here? I'm looking for you, mate. Uh oh. Should I be flattered or worried? Maybe a bit of both. <laughs> Come here. I've got a job for us. Really? The client is willing to part with a huge sum of cash if we acquire a certain object for him. And I'm listening. Now, yeah. you're not going to like this. Oh, no. No, you're out of your mind. Yeah, you just, just hear me out. No. Flynn, we both know two people who were killed trying to lift something out of this and place. one who made it out. Yeah, barely. I can't do this without you, Drake. You're the only one who's cracked here, and you know better than anyone, it's a two-person job. No, no, no. Three, actually. Right. And speaking of the devil, here she comes now. Here we are. Chloe Fraser. Chloe Fraser. Nate. Drake. Nathan. Drake. Hello, Harry. Chloe is one of the best drivers in the business. 
She'll take good care of us. At best. Right, look. I'm good at one thing now. Going through the sewer. I'm loving it so far. That puts us in the courtyard. From there we scale up the wall, run across the rooftops and just drop down into the exhibit hall. Box you up. And what is worth all this trouble, I hear you ask? I didn't, but go ahead. But that's it. An oil lamp. Yeah. <laughs> it's worthless. I don't get it. Neither do we. That's why we tracked you down. Well, it sounds like you're working for a nutcase. Some collector who's got too much time and money on his hands. And by the way, this is not worth any of it. But there's more. How's your 13th century Latin, mate? Where'd you get this? Borrowed it from the files of the nutcase. In Trebizond, we were set upon by thieves. Father, Maffeo, and I were robbed of our greatest treasures. This was written by Marco Polo. Yes, that much we were able to work out. Unfortunately, the rest of it is nonsense. Helen, so that it should not fall into the wrong hands, I concealed my great sorrow in the unlikeliest place. The light of the great Khan shelters the fate of the Thirteen. See what I mean? It's just gibberish. He's talking about the lost plate. Yeah. Uh, someone want to fill me in? Marco Polo leaves China with 600 passengers and 14 ships loaded down with treasure from Kublai Khan. And he lands in Persia a year and a half later with only one ship left and only 18 passengers. Now he recorded every detail of his journey, but he never told what happened to all those ships and the passengers. So, so somewhere out there, there were 13 ships loaded with the Empress treasure waiting to be found. Yeah, and that is what your client is after. Hey, look at this lamp. It's covered in Mongolian script. It must have been a gift from Kublai Khan. The light of the great Khan shall so the fate of the 13. 13. Marco Polo hid something inside this lamp. Something that pinpoints the site of the lost fleet. So, we're digging this guy over, right? Damn straight. You in then? the hell? I mean, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> and then we really think about the, the opening sequence that we've just been through. <laughs> Where we nearly fell off the fucking train. <laughs> So we'll, we'll see uh, those characters at the end, but we have little hidden treasures that we can show up, we can inspect all that type of stuff, turn around and all this stuff. They have good detail as well. And we have 30 trophy. They have a trophy for 30 treasures found. So a lot of this is probably from my last save file, so I had 29 in my original, <laughs> original save file. That one I believe I did not have. Yeah, so Chloe Frazier is the character that shows up in a few of the uh, Uncharted games in the future. Uh, I think we briefly see her in Uncharted 3 a little bit. Uh, she's in Lost Legacy, she's basically one of the main characters, the main protagonist in uh, Lost Legacy itself. I think she shows up in Uncharted 4 as well. Oh, okay, it's hard to reload. 
better than that. He's alive! Karma's a bitch. We have all sorts of hidden treasures all over the place. That, that's, some, that's something that uh, does show up in the in the franchise a lot. A lot of hidden stuff, like hidden little collectibles that you can get. She wants, she runs on her own clock and stuff like that, so. doesn't help. It makes things very tense sometimes. first plane is to think of what the hell is that dagger? 
why does it mean so much to Nate and all this other stuff? Well, we won't get the answers for that for quite some time, or at least the, the dagger will know a little bit more answers to early on, <laughs> earlier on in the game. And here we go, officially go back. I'm sure you're up for this. I'd feel a lot better if I had a gun. You won't need them. I live in insurance, that's all. Flynn, they're just museum guards. We have their patrols all mapped out. Relax. Relax. <laughs> Relax. Have you ever been in a Turkish prison, mate? If we get caught, they will lock us up and throw away the sodding key. You do realize that, don't you? Better than you do. Well, you may fancy that kind of thing, but I don't. Can't afford to make any mistakes. Yeah, and we won't. We're here. It still looks great for a PS3 game. We'll look at that. So what do we do if they switch the patrols? Figure it out as we go. We cannot fumble our way through this. I don't fumble. I improvise. Oh, is that what you call? Yeah. I'm, uh, adaptable. Adaptable? You cocky bastard. <laughs> well, I mean, after the first game, you can definitely tell. What did I tell you? That passage there is going to take us right under the museum. <laughs> You called it all right. You need to have a little more faith in me, John. Okay, this one here is me. I remember, that tower is our only way into the exhibit. But we can't even get close with those floodlights on. We've gone over this. Just make sure you cut the power by the time we reach the second courtyard. The lights will be out. I'll have the van waiting at the rendezvous point. Just make sure you get your asses out of there in time. Fair enough. All right, enough chat. Let's do this. Looking forward to it. Yeah, now I don't. I don't own sure you know where uh, you're going. any Sorry, old ways. games anymore. When it comes to this series, I, I own the second game, of course, because I'm playing it right now. And I own uh, Uncharted Four. That's one that I really did enjoy. Um, all the rest of that pattern and it's makes your jeans all squidgy. And it's not because I didn't enjoy them, it's just I didn't enjoy them probably as much. Like like the first game, I mean like. Not the good old days, isn't it? Yeah. Remember those again? The game does like uh, does do that. It gives you a little bit of leeway. Oh wait, this can't be right. We must have made a wrong turn somewhere. <laughs> hey, now what do you bet that will take us right into the boiler room? And from there, we're in. Yeah, in like Flint, right? What? In like Flint? I don't get it. Just give me a boost. Making a joke. Here it comes. Thanks. And that's one of the things I will say when it comes to the Uncharted franchise is that it does well when it comes to uh, its tutorials. There. You ready? No gods, no glory. Here we go. Is that it makes like the tutorial natural, and that's that's one thing that I do like about good games that have good tutorials, is if they make it natural in terms of the the way the gameplay is. It's 
So it's like, oh yeah, I needed a boost or something like that. Make those triangle mechanics like the triangle commands feel natural. Uh, there we go. Yeah. Just trying to remember. <laughs> yeah, I dropped it down for you. Yeah, the game can be finicky sometimes. It can give you a little bit of leeway sometimes, and then other times it just doesn't. <laughs> Alright, this is the way to the courtyard. Well, we're not going this way. Not if you want to keep your skin. Alright. There's gotta be a shut-off valve around here somewhere. Let's see if you can find it, then. I'm so pretty sure I got that one. Yeah. Oh, no, apparently I didn't have that one either. I seriously thought I did. tutorial there as well. So I want to drop down. Circle again, like I, I did it a little bit earlier, but yeah, press circle, drop down to a lower, lower ledge. Just make it easier for yourself. Okay, now there should be a door just around this corner. That's our access point. Once we're through, just stick to the plan. You got me? Tell me you didn't miss this. I'm here, right? Treasure hidden in here. It's locked. Good job I came prepared. I pick more than my nose, my friend. Oh, wait! There's an alarm. Oh, that's new since last time. Uh, great. Now what? Well, I can disarm it if we can find the junction box. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Switch, I have no idea, but uh, it's, it's a video game. <laughs> Shit. I got it. That's square, okay. Let's do it. Gives you the location of where you need to go. 